Hey everybody, JB back with you once again for another CC2LP1 voting video. Uh, so first I need to address the elephant in the room and I'm sorry, very sorry in advance for this, but unfortunately, as you've probably noticed here in the first few seconds of the video already, I had to ditch my mic. Unfortunately, that microphone was not really working. It's, um, I don't know if it's just because I've been using it a lot for work related stuff that it's just kind of started to die out. I mean, I've had it for like a decade now, but because of that, I'm having to intro, like I'm having to basically just default to my laptop's mic, which is not really great. So that's why the sound quality is probably lower, but I'm sorry for the sound issues in the last video. I had no idea that that was even a thing until people started commenting about it. But thank you to everyone who did. I'm gonna try to uh, get a new mic at some point in the future if I can um, spend enough, spend the money for it. Um, I, I should be able to here pretty soon, but I wanted to continue getting videos out, and at this point you could probably turn down your volume because this is picking up my voice pretty well, although it's not very good quality. So uh, I tried experimenting with the mic settings for half an hour. I just couldn't get anything to work. It definitely was not the recording software. It's the mic um, because there's a clear difference between using this like default microphone array thing and using the... Um, professional mic that's I think it's starting to see its last days now so with that in mind uh, I'm going to go ahead and start today's video which is on the first half of the winter pack so let's go and get started with artificial disasters now this looks really oh okay uh, this looks really interesting uh, I don't think I can actually get that one to drown yet but let's uh, take a look at what's going on here I guess we can get the time to not actually change. There seems to be a lot of monster related stuff going on here. And oh, that's right, I turned the chip. I'm just trying to get my bearings as far as like what direction to go here. Okay, that's a dead end. Good to know. And we can go in here. Awesome. Okay, time to go back as Melinda. Okay, that teeth is probably gone by now, right? Because we became Chip, yeah. No more teeth. So there's got to be another set of red keys somewhere here. Um, I'm looking at what's going on here, and... I'm not sure what to make of it yet. So there's a... That's an interesting setup. I just noticed that the bugs are hitting each other there in the middle. So hang on a sec. Can I go and just get all these? I guess so. That's probably for getting to the teleport, right? I'm going to go ahead and do this in case I can't come back from here. I'm going to put this out here. There we go. Okay, so I can go in here. This is a very interesting setup. These are just hitting each other. I'm not sure if you could really do this with MS, uh, with the way it all works. Okay, so we have a boatload of red keys here, which is great. Uh, let's get that one. I'm going to see what the train tracks here lead to. There's not really much of a time limit for this level, so I'm hoping we'll have enough of it. Oh, well, there we go. I, oh! I totally choked right there. I was, like, panicking with the bug and all that. My bad. All right, let's do this first, because I think this section is pretty simple with the keys and whatnot, and I feel a lot riskier doing this just because it involves sidestepping off force floors, and that always feels a little dangerous, so we'll go ahead and do that before anything else. There we go. I'm kind of trying something else different tonight as well. I'm, I'm trying sitting on the floor of my apartment by where I do the, uh, the board game collection videos I've been posting lately, so I'm hoping that will turn out okay. I guess we'll see how it goes. Okay, do that. Pressing that doesn't really affect 
my ability to get any of these, so I'll, I'll go ahead and do it. I really like this room. This room is pretty cool. And yeah, I guess Monster Order would work for that in MS, right? I think. How do you even extract any of those blocks? I'm assuming that's what the dynamite's all about. Is it under here? It is under there. Okay. So... Hang on one sec. I'm just trying to determine what it is we're even trying to accomplish here. This seems a little weird. Am I trying to get over there? Is that what's going on? Or... I feel like this is ultimately what we're trying to do, so I'm, I'm going to go this way. Okay, that worked out. Oh! Uh, something tells me that wasn't correct. Oh, I can't even push that. Was I supposed to get in through this way, or...? Or am I supposed to use this to turn into chips so I can get into some shenaniganry over here that I wouldn't otherwise be able to accomplish? Is that what's going on? I wonder if that's a... Maybe you're supposed to do it like that just so you can access some things that Melinda couldn't do. Like maybe there's a bunch of gravel or something here. Okay. So that's nice. Okay, but I'm one chip short. Where is this other chip? Thankfully, I've stopped the clock, so that's good. Oh, wait, it's at the beginning. Right, I forgot about that. Okay, let's go back there. I'll take this way. So I'm assuming the exit is like somewhere across all these tracks that go horizontally, right? That makes the most sense. Yeah, it's over there. So I don't see anything that's uh, chip inaccessible. Or, sorry, Melinda inaccessible. Okay. Let's go and grab that railroad sign. And that should be good as far as getting to the exit is concerned. I'm going to wait for this bug, though. There we go. I have to remember to actually walk on this. Okay, there's something over here. Which apparently led to nothing. All right, for time's sake, I'm going to go ahead and call it solved because we know the exit's on the other side. I'm going to give it a 1 just because I didn't really feel like the level did much. It felt like a very easy key collection level with some dodging in it. And to be honest, there's really nothing about this that makes me want to see it in the final set. It's It doesn't really do anything particularly unique. It just felt very dull in a lot of ways and I like there are some levels that don't feel innovative but at the very least I felt something whereas this level I just didn't even feel anything it just felt very boring and dry and it took up all this space that felt like it didn't need to take up so for that reason I'm giving it a one I I know technically this is probably better made than a lot of levels that I've even given twos as a two but I just didn't feel anything, and that's the main reason why I'm giving it the rating I'm giving it. All right, chips. Uh, what, what, what? Okay, this is weird. Uh, I'm a little worried about this time limit, to be honest. This is a little concerning. Okay, so if all the blobs were to blow up into one of the green bombs, you would still have enough chips because there's four extra ones, I think. 
Yeah, that's a really weird level. I'm also giving that a one. Like, the idea of collecting the green ships before they, like, before bombs explode is interesting, and I think the time limit adds some tension to it that's kind of cool, but I feel like it's very easily trivialized in a lot of ways. There's just nothing about it that's really compelling either, so... All right, moving on to cheese. Cheese, please. All right, let's do this. Get the cheese going. Oh. Okay, I see the play here. Okay, so I'm going to have to get this. Okay, this is a very interesting idea. Now, the question here is... Okay, I think I see it. I think I have to get through here and then take it back. Yeah. So... Yeah, I can just do this. Okay. This leads to a thing. I like things. Uh, now where do we go? Oh, I see. Okay, this is a little concerning. Um, so I'm going to get the teleport taken away from me if I go through that yellow. Can I just go this way? Okay, I can go this way. I guess that's how you do it. But that doesn't solve the problem of how to get to the next area, because the next area is going to have the same problem, right? Okay. So, is there a way that you can go... Oh yeah, there is. I can just leave it there, do that, and then get it, right? And then we're all good? I think everything's good? We did a good? Okay, good. Uh, this is interesting. So there is a series of... I keep getting a bunch of notifications on my phone. I'm just checking to make sure nothing crazy... Nothing crazy is going on here. Okay. Good thing nothing crazy is going on. So there's a glider that I take has to go over there. So is the key here to make the whole thing start up at least? And then... Like, I have to get that ship, obviously. Okay, good. So if I do this... Good, okay. That felt really close. I'm glad it worked out. I, I guess you could cut it a little closer by... Um... Oh, hang on. There we go. I guess you could cut a little closer by going immediately up through the teleport, but you don't really have to do that. Alright, so now we have all the ships. So where's the exit? Is it over? It's over here. Okay, so now we get a red key. Okay, good. I'm glad there wasn't some complex trap at the very end. Uh, is it back through the start? I'm trying to remember. No? Where's the red door? Oh, it's up there. Oh, I didn't have the red key when I tried this earlier. That's what the problem was. You know what? That's a pretty fun level. I, I really liked that concept. It felt like it took yellow teleports and made kind of a dexterity puzzle out of them, which is not something that I would have ever expected, but yet somehow it it managed to be okay. I'm not sure how like fair some of the areas are if you're not particularly skilled at optimizing a level though. Like that glider thing felt a little close. And the same thing with that toggle wall area with the red key at the very end. 
I think I'll give it a three. It felt decently developed, but I think it could have gone just a little further, but not like to the point where it was like too restrictive, if that makes sense. All right, the Cursed Citadel. I wonder if this is related to that other Citadel area. Don't allow this button to be pressed if you want easy access to the bonus flags. Okay, so that gives... Okay. Apparently, if I press it, I guess fireballs will be cloned, but there seems to be something else in play, too. Oh, whoops, I did not see that collision. All right, let's try this again. All right, you guys go in there. Oh, apparently not going in there. Well, I can wait. I can stay right here. Oh, whoops. I just realized we need to get the blocks there first. That's a pretty cool concept. I like that idea. And thankfully you can block this up if you need to, so in case you have a little bit of a bug incursion like this, it's not too bad. Except I'm going to have to dodge them, which could be a bit of an issue. And I see that the button can be kind of used as a risk-reward thing if you want the bonuses. So I'm going to try it with for now, and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's not going to be terribly difficult. But we'll see how it goes. Woo, that was close. Okay. I think I'm going to try this strategy of leaving one block there and then getting another one in here. I think that's a pretty sound method. Ah! Oh wait, no, that's fine! Ah! <laughs> I realized it's too late. I was like, no, don't do it. Oh man. I keep... I'm very bad at monster interactions like this. Okay, let's do this. Let's wait again. This actually isn't so bad, I'm just being really terrible at dealing with the bugs. Oh, I forgot to leave it there! Ah. Wow, I'm hoping the rest of the level is not this touchy as far as, like, interactions with monsters. I'm really hoping the rest of the level is not like this. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? That was so dumb. Okay, I just need one more right here. The, this is just the only other one, and we should be good. I'm glad this is at the very beginning, by the way. Oh, come on. There we go. Finally, got it. Okay, so now we can get the red key. I'm going to be hyper careful. I see there's more monster interactions ahead. Okay, this room... Now, this is interesting. There's teeth here and I have to assume that this teeth is going to lead these monsters somewhere or something like that I, I'm trying to understand I, I feel like these monsters are serving a purpose especially with bombs nearby but I see blocks and I'm guessing maybe these are ultimately used here for this red key so I'm going to go ahead and do it I don't see any other option at the moment so let's go ahead and go for it Okay, there we go. Alright, so now we have a red. And we can go into here. So no monsters will follow us, thank goodness. 
I do not want to release those. I'm going to be very careful not to release anything. So nothing more in there. So now we have a green key. We can go in here with the green key. And okay, there's bombs, I guess. I can't really see a way to get the... Wait a minute. No, I, I had to use the blocks on those, didn't I? Did I miss something over here? Oh, wow, there's like a lot going on here. Uh... So there's a, there's a socket here, so I'm going to come back there later, I guess. But what do you do about this? Like, what... Don't tell me I have to get these teeth out of here and... Oh, no. Don't tell me I'm going to have to get the teeth out of that and then into that area. Oof, that's going to be tough. Okay, so let's say we did get the teeth out of there. What would we do? Like, the first thing that comes to mind is position one here, but the problem is, is that I can't keep one there. Not unless there's, like, two more over here. But who knows? Maybe that's actually what you do. I mean... It wouldn't be terribly surprising if that were possible at the very least. Oh wait, I one is stuck. Okay. So that should okay, good. It's it's coming this way. So if I'm not mistaken, that should allow all the monsters to travel back to um well once the, this collision madness stops. Yeah, there we go. That should allow them to come back this way. And well there's a fireball that's doing something weird there. What's going on with that? Oh. Hi there. Uh. Okay, good. So now you're back on track, so that, that's good. So... How can I get you to, like, desync enough to... There you go, okay. Oh, except I need you to be one space. Ugh, that's going to be a problem. I don't like this. This is really touchy. It's it's very, I don't know. I'm just not a fan. Oh, come on, back. No, no. Come back, no. Okay. Go back there. Okay, I'm going to wait, like, very specifically here for this. There we go. Got it. Okay, now you both go over here somewhere. And I'm going to go race down here before you can get me. Okay, I take it I have to lead the teeth to those. Is that what's going on? I can do it one at a time, at least, so that's nice. So, were all the bombs blowing up actually necessary? I'm really curious to know about that. I have to say, I actually kind of like that opening with the bugs a little more than this section. This section feels very finicky, and I'm not sure I'm a big fan of it. Okay, come on, come this way. There we go. There you are. Okay, so thankfully they're together, which should... Oh, never mind. They're not together. We'll have to just stand here and get the, the other one separately. That's all right. I see a fireball cloner there. I don't know if that means I have to get... The fireball on a path to something but 
I'm just looking here and okay, that's a dead end. What? Uh, what are you supposed to do with this? Or are you supposed to like, hang on, maybe you're just supposed to get all the chips. Because I wonder if that button is connected to like something else that's on the other side after the socket. Because uh, that's definitely plausible. I'm just going to get all the chips. I, I don't see any other option. Okay, so now there's a couple of things we can do. We can go for the bonuses, which is good. Um, so the only thing that would have been impeded was our ability to, like, get in here without the blocks being in our way. Is that the, the big thing? Okay, there's a block here, and I'm, I'm saving it just in case. I doubt we can actually use this for anything, but I'm just saving it because who knows. Now, does this send a... Okay, I'm not going in there. But I take it this is going to clone a fireball, and that's going to clone the glider? Is that what, what happens here? Okay, yeah, it is. Okay, and then we just do this. Except I need a yellow key. Where do we get a yellow key? Wait. Oh, here we go. We can do this. Okay, so we need to go here. Okay, that's danger territory. So let's go here. Running out of time, but I think we can make this. Uh, oh, we can go down there. Ah. Oh, but we have to get go down there from the bottom. Oh, I see. Wait, is that a single use thing? Also, where do we use this red key? Is it here? It's got to be there. Hopefully I can make it in time. Now the question is, do I need to partial post this? That seems to be the logical answer, so I'm going to do it. I don't see any other way, so yeah. Yes, okay, good. So now the question is, where are we heading now? Oh, hi! I did not see you there. Oh my goodness, okay, I'm not sure I want to play through that all over again, but I am curious to see the, um, sorry about this, um, the stuff here for this, the, um, um, map of this in the editor, so I'm going to go and open that up. Let's check it out, let's see what's, uh, what's going on with this level. I should have had the editor open, but I restarted my computer a whole bunch of times because of the whole sound issue. So let's see what we have. Uh, the Cursed Citadel. I like that ending thing where like all the monsters are drowning or something. Okay, so yeah, it looks like there's something that triggers at the end here whenever you hit the um, mechanism here. It does... Oh, I see. You would have gone to the exit underneath the block. That's a little hidden information-y for my taste, but it's... I suppose it's not too bad. I mean, there's really not much else in the way of options, so. And I guess you could have gone out here with the fire boots and gotten all these other bonus flags, so there's that too. I'm going to give that one a 2. I liked some of the things in it, but overall I felt like it was a little fiddly in some places, and it really didn't leave the biggest lasting impression, and some of it felt a little more tedious than it needed to be. But some good ideas, like I liked the whole monster emptying thing at the end. I think that was probably one of the more memorable parts of it. So, good start. I would definitely try to give this one some polish, though. Alright, full steam ahead. Taking the speed boots or helmet will close off a bonus to you. This level may be easier or not, depending on what you do. 
Well, I can see the helmet making it easier, but I'm not sure about everything else. Is this just monsters and these rooms in a maze format? Is that all it says? Looks like it is. It looks like it's kind of color-coded. The walkers are in pink rooms. Nothing's in green. Fireballs are in blue. Uh, and I need to find a way forward here. And gliders are in yellow. Okay, here we go. This seems to be the correct path. Oh, there's a time limit. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> that would have been good to know. I didn't even see that. I should have paid attention more clearly. That was my bad. Sorry about that. Whoop. Now I'm going to be... I, I want to see if I can make it in time or how reasonable that will be. Okay, so we go down here. Okay. Good, good, good. Good. Awesome. Okay, I have no idea if this is even the right way or not, but so far there's no dead ends, so I'm kind of happy about it. Okay, right there. Ooh. Oh, it's 11 seconds. I thought it was one second. Whoops. I was just talking about paying attention, too. Uh, I'm going to give that one a one because there really wasn't much to it. I mean, I like the idea of a, a timed level, but there's just so many good time-based levels that we've seen that this one just kind of felt plain in comparison. So, yeah, not exactly my favorite. All right, Roy G. Biv. Oh, yeah, this level. This is from a Pit of One Hundred Tiles. It's even got the no boot sign. No boot dropping. All creatures... Keys, boots, and buttons should be visited in rainbow order. Treat brown like orange. All right, so we'll go here first. And I take it we get this ro okay, red key first. Yeah, this is one of those levels I've been wanting to see in an official set. Oh, and there's gravel under these blobs now. That was not in the original. I remember that. Uh, okay, we need to get the fire boots first, so let's do that. And we can go through that. I think that releases something. Oh, yeah, we need to do this as well. Oh, we should have done red first. My bad. I forgot about that. All right, let's try that again. This time with a little less fail. We forgot to go to the red button first, and I died again. All right, we can do this. We can do this. Okay, so we go up through here. I get the fire boots, but I don't hit that trap yet. And if I remember correctly, there's like a ball or something that that releases that's somewhere we haven't visited yet. I see the tank there, but I think that's different. Um, we'll eventually want to get that... Oh, we could have pressed the button. My bad. Oh, wait, no, we couldn't have because it's a one-time use thing. Never mind. There was a safeguard against it. Okay, yellow door. Okay, so we go here next. So we need to press the green and then the blue buttons. I'm just going to make sure... Okay, I think we could have gotten to that either way. But let's do this one. And now we can go in here. And I'm going to wait to get to that area up there before we, uh, until after we get these. Yeah, I still really like this level. It's definitely got a very novel idea. I mean, the one thing I will say about it that is somewhat, I wouldn't call it restrictive, but it is something that I have thought about when it comes to levels like this is that there is a certain element of um, needing to use the default tile set for this game if you or at least a tile set that closely mirrors it if you are going to be able to successfully solve this the intended way so in other words like you couldn't use a custom weird tile set that has some crazy stuff in it uh, wait a minute. 
I need. F I can't get that, can I? I'm gonna wait. I'm I'm gonna go through the teleport first. Yeah. I need the the flippers again, or not again. That's the first time I'm getting them. I like how the blue key is there the whole time, but really you don't want to to get it until this point. I take it it's fine to go ahead and do this, right? There shouldn't be any reason not to. Alright, and with that we can go through the teleport, and I think that's where the remaining chips are. Yes. And I really love how, I, I think I talked about this in Pit of Wonder Tiles, but I really love how this section is like this giant chip vault that you can get as a reward for doing the whole puzzle successfully. I think that's really neat. It's got a kind of a nice feeling to just blazing through all the chips. I don't know, there's, there's just something satisfying about it that I really like a lot. And I think it's really cool. It's really neat. All right, that is Roy G. Biv. I'm gonna give that a four. I think that's a, a really cool level. I'm, it's not really like among my favorites to make it into this particular set. I think I'm gonna be rooting for it more in CCLB5. Um, so I'm just checking one last thing on my phone here. Uh, hang on one sec. Okay, I'm gonna look at that more here later. But um, yeah, this level is really, really neat. I, I don't really think that it, def it, it, it there, there's not really like a justification I can think of to put it in this set over CCLP5. I think this is much better as a CC1 level, maybe with gravel underneath the blobs, but I still think it's a really good level in either set. So that's why I'm giving it a four. Like I'm a little bit less enthusiastic about it being in this particular set, but I still wouldn't mind it. All right, Hamilton rolls in his grave. 30. Oh, there's a hint. Check this map to see the layout of the cells below. Okay, what's on this side? Another hint. Oh, same hint. But this one has a an even greater number, 58. Um, well, the other one is a little less intimidating, so I'm going to look at it first. Um, so this is a map of something down here. Apparently I can get yellow teleports, which kind of scare me, <laughs> to be quite honest. Um, okay, so this is like a, a routing puzzle. Okay, I'm going to leave this here. Okay, this is that middle area, right? Okay, so it seems like you get one free yellow teleport usage, and then after that, you're kind of on your own as far as, like, what you need to do or something. So wait, did we actually get this? Oh my goodness, we actually got it. Okay, so that is it. You really, you, you basically have to use the yellow teleports to make it through this thing. Okay, so this one is the more complicated one. Uh, let me take a look at this real quick because this looks really scary. Um, the one thing I'm noticing about this is that there are these open ones that allow you to approach, I mean, assuming that this is laid out similarly with, yeah, with recessed walls, there are open-ended ones here, and thank goodness this is untimed. I'm really thankful for that. So right away, just coming in here from the top, you can do this and get out this way because of the uh, the two recessed walls that would be here in these spots, right? And then you could go down, left, down. I'm trying to avoid using the yellow teleports until I absolutely need to, basically. Right, right, up right up right down 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 left okay so here we're going to have to cross over the other way and go here i think like so we can clear this whole top half without having to use yellow teleports but then we get 
into here. And this is where it gets a little dicey because this section, I think, I think this section might involve using them, possibly. So if I go, so if I ignore that middle space, if I go like, like I'm coming in through here, I go here, I do this. I see one possibility here. Well, hang on a sec. Maybe not. Uh, this bottom half looks really intense. So I can only enter, if, if I were to enter from here, I can do it only from there, it looks like. And yeah, that's what's kind of frightening here. So maybe what we need to do up here is whenever we do this section, I'm wondering if it might not be a bad idea to do like this, to go down here first, and then maybe go up this way. But the problem I see with that though, is that this ch chip right here is gonna be orphaned as a result versus the other method that we were using, which I think helped with that when you went through here but wait can we do that oh yeah you could you could do that you could just zigzag up here go zigzag down here and then you should be fine okay so that helps so i could go through here i could come this way slant down this way leave the teleport there go up this way teleport back and then I can be at the end. So it's gonna be left, left, down, right, down, right, wait. Left, left, down, right, down, right, up, up, right, right, down, left, down, left, down, right, right, up, right, up, right, up, right, down, 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 left up up left down left down and then we do this stuff okay yeah this is going to be really interesting i'm hoping i don't get lost i kind of want to i'm going to take a picture of this with my phone just so i can reference it basically so i'm gonna uh oh hang on something happened on discord josh just posted something in the set releases thing and i'm wondering if this is what I think it is, hang on. There's so many live crazy things happening in the middle of these things. I Oh, Josh just released a cool best of set. Okay, I'm gonna check that out after I'm done recording. Okay, so let's, um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my map here while I'm doing this just so I have a reliable place to uh, reference here. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, so I believe it was left, left, down, right, down, right, up, up, right, right, down, left, down, left, right, up, right, and then right, up right up right down 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 wait why is there not a oh wait is there an extra down oh i just didn't travel far enough okay up up okay then we go here okay so we've cleared that part so now i just need to go down right down down, left, up, left, up, left, down. Okay, I gotta remember where to drop this off as soon as I make this loop. So I go up the loop, I go through here, I come back down, do this part. Okay. I just lost track of where I'm supposed to go. I think it's this way though. Yeah, it's this way. So I leave one there, I make a trip around the horn here, 
and then I do this to get out. Oh man, it actually worked. That was weirdly satisfying to solve. I'm not sure what I think of it though. I feel like the I feel like the puzzles are good. I'm not sure if they're like the sorts of puzzles that I I don't know. It feels like the kind of puzzle that's not necessarily like CC like the most CC appropriate. Like I designed a level that I I I feel like this is kind of comparable to in Walls of CC LP1 called Detonation Delineation. And it's probably not nearly as, as well designed as this is from like a rigidity standpoint. But like even when I when I made that, I was kind of hesitant about releasing it. And the only reason why I did is because it, it was a walls of thing. But I don't even expect it to get into an official set just because of it. So I'm gonna give this one a three because I liked the level. I'm just not sure if this kind of puzzle is necessarily like a CC appropriate puzzle. I mean, I feel like it is from the standpoint of like just going around and doing a routing thing. Like TC involves movement and movement can be, you know, done in this format and everything. But I feel like the real puzzle was figuring it out in the little miniature version and then executing it. So I don't know. It, I, I'm weirdly mixed on this. Like it, it's very good, and yet I don't know. I, I I think it it's one of those things that it's more fun to do on paper than play in this game. It's kind of how I felt about the uh, Belinda teaches logic puzzles level, where I was I felt like the whole thing would be better if it wasn't in this game where you you are basically screwed if you do the wrong thing and you can't just erase a mistake and go back. But in this case, I think it's a little more forgivable um, just because there's only two things and like the working out of it can be done separate from actually performing the work, if that makes sense. So I don't know, it, it's very, it, I, I'm very mixed on this one. It, it's really odd. I'm gonna give it a three though. I think it was pretty well made. All right, train network control units. Um, okay, so it seems like the... Oh, I have this. Um, wait a minute. Can I, like... What? Oh, I can walk on these. Whoops. Okay, so does that mean I can... Okay, good, I can do that. So I want to guide the, t uh, the teeth, the tank, through things that are not hazardous to its health, of course. Uh, so that means no, no f flame jets or paths leading to them. Okay, whoop, go go this way. There we go. Okay, then I go over here and do that. Go this way. And go this way. Okay, there. I'm trying to make sure not to undo all the things that we've been working on here. Okay, good. So that's, I'm pretty sure that's a safe route. Come to think of it, I guess we could just clone more if this fails, right? Oh, oops. Uh, did I just miss that one? Okay, let's just reconstruct this. I wonder if I just forgot that one. I bet I did. Okay, so the rest of it is still intact. Yeah, I must have forgotten about it. So I guess I could do this all over again if I wanted to get bonuses, but I'm not going to do that. I like that idea, but unfortunately I didn't really feel like there was much of a challenge there. And you could say that this could be used as like an introductory level to how train tracks work, but I feel like this is 
like the way this is built, it feels like it's positioned to be more of like, hey, you know how train tracks work. Now switch a bunch of these things to guide this monster along, which doesn't really feel like a teaching tool. It feels more like an application thing, and the application is not necessarily on its own very compelling. So eh, I'm gonna give it a two. I, I think it's I like the aesthetic of it. I like the the um the satisfaction of just getting the path in there, but I'm not really a fan of the way it it ultimately accomplished what it accomplished, if that makes sense. All right, weak hypercharge. Um Okay, I'm immediately noticing here that if I go down, then that means I'm pretty much screwed. So I take it, I, like, assuming that that's what that's all about there, I take it I'm going to have to come back. Uh, did that actually kill? Yeah, I did. Okay. But I got all the chips, so did whatever need to be held down get held down, or is this a... I bet that's a... Okay, I see this is another checkerboardy level, so... I didn't know if you just, like, going up on the railroads was going to make you, your doppelganger, do what needed to be done that made sense it's like okay so if it once it goes up there I, I can afford two down movements okay good good okay so now I can just go and do whatever I want I think I'm, I'm assuming that that's the case Okay, so there is a lot of stuff going on here. It looks like there are different keys to get, and you can... Okay, there, there's more up there. I, I guess that's where we're eventually going, question mark. Oh, wow, okay. This is, this is a very trippy level, and I, I'm liking the aesthetic of it so far. So this seems to be kind of like a, a Taurus kind of thing. Yeah, this seems to be a Taurus maze. So I need to come up through that one. Oh wait, no. I need to come up through that right one there. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Okay, that's where the bonus was. So, oh here! I can just do- no, that's not it. Okay, these are the ways, right? No? Oh, I need to come up through that one. Oh. Oh, I was completely off on that. Okay. So it's this one in line with there. So I need to... Wait, was I there all along and I just missed it? I think I was. So I should have gone where I was planning to go. Yeah, I should have gone here. Wait, no... I could have sworn that that was it. Is that not it? Was I misreading the whole thing? I guess I didn't see that thin wall. Maybe that's the problem. Okay, I'm just losing track of where we're supposed to be going at this point. So, right now, I need to come from that left side there, it seems like. That's really interesting. Okay, let's go up here. So I need to cross downward somehow. I need to cross downward. Let's figure out how to accomplish that. So this way by itself doesn't do anything. This way also doesn't do anything. I feel like we were on the right track and then I got distracted and that didn't help at all. I think we need to come back to this path. This path seemed to be working out. So that led to a bonus. This leads to this area here. Okay, here we go. There we are. Okay. That's where you go. That's a really well done maze. I like that. 
Like it's just confusing enough to kind of send your your brain into a bit of a tangle. I can dig it. It was pretty cool. All right, so there's a bug here. So I need to send a bug on a pilgrimage somewhere. Um, is it just a race to get to that? Is that what's going on? It almost looks like it is. Let's see if that's indeed what's going on here. It looks like the answer is yes, though. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, that was thankfully pretty easy. So now I just need to get to the end. I like how there's like a blue teleport there, even though it's a red thing. So this is the door station. Okay, so now we have a giant... Some blue keys here. There's a room and... Are these faces? They, they look like faces. Oh, we found the smiley face one. What a very strange level. <laughs> I really like it, though. That, honestly, is probably my favorite level in the pack so far. It's such a bizarre level, and I really like the way it all came together at the end. Like, the getting the... Like, it felt like I was on, like, a spaceship or something, and I was getting keys and going to different areas... I can see that being a really fun introductory level for the set. Maybe kind of in the first, like the end of the first quarter or something. Or maybe the toward the middle of the first quarter. It just had some neat ideas and kind of a fun explorative feel to it. I liked it. It, it, was, a, it was a cool aesthetic as well. Like the checkerboard thing didn't feel very distracting as much as maybe some of the other levels with that aesthetic in it. I'm going to give that one a 5, honestly. That was really cool. I'm going to go with a 5 on that one. All right. Icy Ring of Torture. Oh, boy. That sounds... Okay. Okay, what is the thing that's going around? Can we see it as Melinda? It's a glider. Okay. Okay, so there is a button there that sends a tank down through... Oh, wait, no. It opens that up. Is that how it works? No? What is that doing? Okay. Oh, wait, there's a Melinda only thing there. Alright, I'm gonna send. I don't know if this is right. I'm gonna just. Oh, hi. I thought that was a clone machine for some reason. Uh. Hang on a sec. So if I go here. What happens if I stay on the turtle? I'm really curious about that. I don't think I've ever tried that with anything. I also die. Okay, so I'm going to need flippers to really take advantage of this, aren't I? Unless there's another way. I just find it weird that that wall stays the way it is. Like, why is it that that doesn't do anything? Like, it's connected to the button, right? Is there something I'm missing with that? Hmm. Uh. Is this supposed to, like, hit the glider and then do stuff because I'm just trying to think of like how this thing would be able to okay hang on okay that's not what I wanted to do but I'm trying to get it to do something similar to that no it just continues going I mean that's what I would expect I don't understand how this is even supposed to work. Like, what what are we even accomplishing here? What's the goal? I, I'm very lost on what's even happening. Is it just getting... Oh, here, you can go this way. 
There's a helmet under this block. Plan your next move carefully. Okay, so I think I can see what the problem here is. You're having to... Okay, I, I have an idea. Okay, let's do that. So at the very least, Melinda has more leeway. Because I think we can do this pretty easily, like this part right here. That part, thankfully, isn't so bad. I'm just really confused as to what we're supposed to do in that section. So what does this clone button do? It sends a fireball over there. And then apparently... Okay. I'm just looking at this situation here. So I take it I'm supposed to... Where does this go? I didn't even look at this. So that I need to... What I'm getting out of this is I need to push that up in some way. Wait, what? What did that do? Why would that have affected anything? I, I'm really lost. What? What am I missing here? I. Why did that suddenly die? What? What? That is so weird. I, I'm going to look at this in the editor because I'm genuinely confused about this. So. Yeah, I don't see any mimics or anything strange about any of this. I don't get it. So I'm supposed to go through there. I'm assuming I go through here and I push this up. I come back out. And then I go through the teleport and I go through here and push that and come through, right? That makes sense. I guess my question is... Oh, the the teleport is supposed to get Chip down through there, and then the glider hits him. I see. We just didn't see it quickly enough to determine that that's what was going on, right? Yeah, because the... No, the glider doesn't get him. The tank gets him. Oh. Okay. So are you supposed to reverse the tanks? I'm just looking here in the map. Because there's no way to prevent that tank from not... There's, there's no way to prevent the tank from going there to begin with, right? I'm still confused about this red key thing. Is the red key a red herring? Because there's no red door. I don't see anything like that in the level. So since Chip would also need to exit, then... I don't really see a future in which Chip ends up escaping all of this and getting away just because he doesn't have ice skates and can't get out. So I think going through the, uh, the uh, teleport really is the right way. It's just a matter of figuring out how to get the tank out of the way, and I don't see how to do that. There's also, because we were wondering about that with that top tank earlier too, so, yeah, this is a really strange one. I'm kind of just repositioning my, myself here. So I hit that button. The toggle wall opens up. The tank goes there. Chip goes through the teleport. So how do we prevent Chip from going through the teleport? I don't think there is a way, is there? Not unless we can reverse the direction that the icy ring of torture forces you to go, which might actually be possible. But the problem is that even if we did, we can't reverse Chip's direction, can we? Not, not unless we we drop the helmet. Let, let me let me try that. I'm going to try dropping the helmet. 
So let's see if this actually works. I am going to do that as usual. And uh, let's see if this works. I'm just going to go up here real quick and get all these chips. Might as well do that. There's no harm in, in trying at least. Oh, I had definitely mistimed that. Okay. And can we make it? Yes, good. I like the idea of this. It's very kind of strange, though. And that was very poorly timed. Okay, that was even more poorly timed. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, this is a this is a weird level. Is this another Gavin Duncan level? Because I feel like he could have made this. This feels like something he'd do. There you go. Okay, so the partial post is holding, so that that's good. Uh, so I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and do. Oh wait, no, I can't. Oh right, I can't actually do that, can I? So I'm wondering if I was really supposed to like just stand here and redirect them. That way, ship could end up there. I bet that's what I'm really supposed to do. Let's actually give that a shot. I think that actually might be more productive than what we were trying to do here. Oh, right. I can't have them collide with the glider just like that. So... Well, wait a minute. Either way is bad, right? Because if I collide with the glider, then the glider gets sent back and then gets chip, right? But maybe not, though, because then the glider would go through the teleport. I don't know. This all feels really fiddly. I'm going to look in the editor and, and check out the solution for this, like the actual solution. Let's open up our winter pack. This is the first time we're actually doing this. Uh, Icy Ring of Torture. Okay, so pretty... Okay, so the tank did end up going that way. Still don't know what that really accomplished, though. Okay, it looks like... Okay, so you can do that. That is really fiddly. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, and there's the glider cloning fireballs now. Okay, so you still have the helmet, so that means that you can do the... Oh. So now you're going through that. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, this is a very specific set of things to do in a confined space. So I take it one of you is going to go through the teleport and do the, yeah, this part. I was wondering what, what the challenge in this section was going to be, because I'm like, this is kind of a plain ring with not much going on. Okay, so we go here. And then we go out here. Okay, so that's the end of the level. Honestly, I'm going to give it a 2. I, I don't really care for the level in general. I think it's it's got a neat concept behind it, but it's a concept that's predicated very much on very tight timing. And that, in general, I'm just not a fan of. So that one, for me at least, that's going to get a 2. Okay, moving on. We have Speed Track. Wow, there's only three seconds? How do you... Okay, I think we just have to make it to that ending area there. Yeah, I'm going to give that a 1. There really wasn't a whole lot to that other than that. Sosi. Okay, is that the same... Okay, it looks like that's pretty much the same thing? Question mark?
Uh, okay, so there are two doppelgangers. Okay. I mean, I knew there were, but I, I just wanted to make sure that they were both getting through the same things. So I take it this bug goes, like, here or something. Okay. Okay, so that, that's working out. Okay, they're both alive. Good. I'm very glad they're both alive. Uh, so now this... What does this do? Okay, there's... I see a gray button over there, so I'm taking it that's... What's the... What the objective is? Oh, whoops, I need to actually... Probably carry this over. There we go. Okay, I think we made it. Okay, good. We, we totally made it. Okay, so now we have a yellow tank, and I think we have to take the yellow tank. And do something here to get it over to here and to the trap button. Uh, I need to find a way to get to that, which I think is here. Except that is going to require desync. There we go. That is honestly one of the best concepts I have seen in a while. I mean, the whole doppelganger guiding thing is nothing new, but I feel like this did it so elegantly, and it had a very neat progression to it that just really worked well. I'm going to give that a 5. That was a really solid concept. Well played. All right, Schrodinger's Chip. Enemies will erase a yellow teleport if it is blocked. You can pick up and drop yellow teleports when they are blocked. Okay. Uh, I'm very nervous about what's about to happen here. Okay, so there's a... Okay, so you're there. I'm assuming we hook that later or something, or... Okay, I'm very confused on what we're even trying to do. Okay, that allows for that to happen. But something tells me those two bombs were supposed to be blown up by those, but maybe not. Okay, so I have one yellow teleport. Where are the other ones? I think they're up there, right? Yeah. Uh, I think we just managed to get ourselves stuck via our button pressing from earlier. So there's a lot going on in here, and I, I feel like we need to kind of figure out what to do. I like how to piece this all together, so let me take a look at what else we're we're doing here, what other irons we have in the fire. So there's a yellow tank situation going on. So that's one thing. I'm Is there a way to get this this to like fully line up in some way? Such that it either works on both ends or Uh, this seems a little, yeah. This seems like it's not going to quite work. I don't know, this, uh, let's keep it like that. I think that's for the best. So I'm going to go ahead and go back down here. I'm still really hesitant about the way we handled this. This... That didn't seem correct to me, but maybe if we go through here, though, and then we go left, I'm wondering if maybe there's some way we can... Eh. 
The good news is I do have the hook, which is good, because that means I can come down here and get to that fireball without a lot of problems. And then that on-off switch turns that on and off, so let's actually give that a shot. Okay, good. And then now we can do that. Okay, so that allows for that to happen. So that's already better than where we were last time, which is good. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go and pick up the teleport here. There's a ball there, and I'm assuming that that goes into something that it's either these buttons or it's some kind of like a bomb or something. I, I'm not sure. Now, this is interesting. I see a railroad there. Is, does that mean that maybe it's like a tank or something controlling that? I mean, this set, this setup here seems to indicate maybe, but I don't know. I'm very hesitant to do anything about it until I know more information. Okay, so this can be used to go over here. So... Oh, wait, ball goes this way, right? Because that means I can drop you there, come back around, and then I can drop this here, and then it will go into the thing, right? Is that it? Yeah, that's totally it. So in that case, what was... Like, how do you get to... I guess you just keep pressing the, the button here, and you can just make the thing go this way but i guess my question on that is like how would you be able to get all of these right because there's like a lot of different bonus opportunities here and i feel like we haven't really explored all of them i guess you could also use the ball to get that one but this area like how do you do these Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't understand how to do that, but we solved the level at least, so that's good. I'm going to give that... I don't know. I'm going to give it a 2, and the reason why is because I feel like the whole concept could have been more developed, and there just really wasn't that sense of... I don't know. The, the story that the level told, for lack of a better word felt very incomplete, like there could have been more, and a lot of it was either turned into a bonus opportunity or just there was potential that never really went anywhere, and I feel like that's kind of a bit of a shame. So I like some of the what the level did, but it just didn't really leave that much of an impression on me personally. All right, platforming? All right, this is from the other 100 tiles. I definitely recognize this one. And actually, I kind of like it in CC2, just because the the rule set is a little less um, ridiculous as far as, like, the timing and whatnot. Okay, that's definitely gettable. Gettable? That's not a word. Forgettable is a word, which this level certainly isn't. I'm going to try to get... Oh, never mind. Apparently not going to get those. I like the bonus opportunities here. I feel like that makes this level already a little bit more interesting than its CC1 counterpart, as much as I really like the CC1 version of this. Oh, you can get that. I totally missed the, that you could do that. Okay, that one's actually a little easier than I thought for a thousand point flag. Okay, what did I do wrong here? I think I just did... Oh, whoa! I did not see that that was a thing that was there. Okay, let's try this again. Now, the good news about this level is that, if I remember correctly, if you don't get through all of it in the first try, you could always come back for a second round, which I really appreciate. Whoa! Okay, good. Okay, good. We made it. Okay, I think we're good.
for this next section at least. So that's the way back. Don't really need to go back. Okay, I think we got all the bonuses. That honestly was a lot of fun in CC2. I'm going to give that a 5 as well. Like That's already a level that I wouldn't mind seeing in CC4. LP5, but I think in this case, I like the CC2 version more with these bonuses, so I'm going to give that one a 5 as well. Alright, just in case. Alright, now if I remember correctly, this was used as a time trial level. If this is the level I'm thinking of. Um, yeah, this there was like a bunch of these case levels, and I remember this one was one of like one of the simpler ones. Okay, yeah, not exactly a level I, I'm particularly interested in seeing in an official set, so I'm going to give that one a 1. Okay, Oblique Strategy. I, I think I'm going to take a bit of a break here, but I'm going to come back for the, the last 10 levels, so I'll see you in, a, in a, just a second here. Okay, I'm back, everybody. We are here on Oblique Strategy, so let's get started. And, okay, so it looks like the goal is going to be to get the fireballs to get up there to the exit. If a green button is being pressed on every move, they will get through. Okay. So, so this is basically like Orto Geld if you were to use, like, the old public route. Because the new public route is very different. And one thing I am curious about, okay, these are all in the same square parody. Now, does that mean all of the gliders are? I think the answer is yes, which means that this should be possible, right? I can do something like this. Because I could compensate for the other... Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm just wondering if that's going to... Okay, that is going to hold. Okay, good. Whoops. <laughs> Why did I do that? I forgot I had a helmet, too. I was being really careful there for some reason. Okay, let's uh, try this again. Because it stands to reason that if I can get the gliders to do this, then if I can just go in the other alternating step... Hang on. Oh, it was almost there. Oh, I need to have something here. Um, wait, how do you manage that? Uh, what? I can't get a block out here. What? What? I can't get a glider over here either. So you are over there. That's... We know that. Oh, I can't actually do... Oh, man. That's gonna suck. Okay. Can I use this other one in some way? I'm just curious if this would work. Okay, if I can just get this to... Oops. Okay, you're going to come around. Okay, so that should mean... Okay, that's going to hold. I do want a little bit more flexibility, though. Not flexibility, but just more consistency, I guess. Now, does that actually do anything, or... 
It looks like it does, but then it peters out after a little bit, so... Can I get one more of you all over here, I wonder? Oh, that's right, I have a helmet. Duh. I keep forgetting I have a helmet. Okay, so if that's the case, let's... Let's do this. Can you join your buddy over there? Because that would be awesome! Yes! There you go. Okay, good. And... Got it. Okay, that was actually a pretty decent puzzle. I, I like that idea. I feel like it doesn't really do much new stuff. Like, I made a level very similar to this back in the CCLP3 era called Flick, I think it was, or, or something like that. It was very much this in the vein of, like, you have to get these toggle walls flickering a, a certain way with a certain pattern and all that, and I don't know. It wasn't really that great, I think. Like, I think the best thing that it had going for it was, like, the the aesthetic maybe but like this one kind of simplifies it a little bit i like the idea but i'm not really itching to see this in an official set so it's going to get a two if the voting site well, there we go had to wait to get it half wit okay i need a helmet to get through that uh so i don't want to go into those canopies right those look very dangerous Okay, so the red key leads to this, so we still don't have a helmet yet. But we can at least explore somewhere new. I like the idea of just seeing part of what you're going through. That That is kind of interesting. Oh, hi. Hi there. Okay, let's try that again. I have to say, the aesthetic of this level generally reminds me of Bounce City from CC1, which is pretty cool. I... I don't know what it is about levels that make me say it looks like a CC1 level, but there is a certain kind of, I don't want to say recklessness, but that's the first word that came to mind when it comes to how the aesthetics of the level look, and that certainly feels like it's the case here in some ways. Okay, so I have to wait till it gets back. Okay. Okay, I'm glad there's gravel there. That's very nice. Okay, um, I think I'm going to have to disrupt those. I don't think I can make it through that. I kind of wish you could see that a little beforehand, but that's fine. It's kind of hard to really do something that where that's possible, and yet you can also um, not be able to make it through on like a first attempt. So, I can kind of understand the frustration. Part of me wishes you didn't have to wait here, too. That if the, Maybe the top of this could be cleared a little earlier. That might be kind of nice. Okay, let's try this again. So, if I go down here... Yeah. Oh wait, I can push those blocks over there too. I'm being being dumb. I'm being a half wit. Yeah, this first part is a little a little simple and then it gets a little more complicated here as time goes on. Okay, go up this way, follow the trail, just wait here. So it looks like we have some tools with which to block a pretty good chunk of the balls. I don't know if it's going to be all of them or not, but at the very least it looks like it's, it's going to be enough of them that we might be able to make it through in one go. Let's do this. I'm going to put that up there and then put that there. I don't know if there's balls on the columns that are completely covered, though. That's what I'm kind of afraid of. Alright, I... 
I'm going to assume no. Okay, good. It looks like the answer is no. No way. Come on, really? Okay, I'll, I'll try to get this one here. I forgot. I don't think you can. You can't push those through canopies, like onto another canopy, right? I remember there was some weird behavior about that. I forgot exactly what it was, but I think that's what happened there. That was really strange. But yeah, I remember there was something about that where, like, you can't do something under a canopy. And I can't remember it for the life of me now. But it was something like that. Okay. I think today's video is going to hopefully be a shorter one. It will be kind of nice after last time. Okay. Okay, so we can do that. Yeah, I don't think you can move these up through the canopies or down. So I'm just going to push this straight to the right. Okay, that could be a bit of a problem. I need to desync this. So that's what that can be used for. There we go. Okay. That should make it significantly easier to do this. Okay, there we go. Awesome. So now that should be enough. There we go. Got it. That's actually kind of tricky. I don't like it. Okay, I'm a little concerned about this, but... Oh, wait, no. The, the ball can come down here and you can see it. That's how you do it. This is very interesting. Okay, so there's a thing there. Yeah, this is an interesting concept, I will say that. Okay, so as long as I know what side it's on, and then I can go in here. Now, are, are all those just meant to kind of throw you off? You're like, oh, hey, it's over here, but maybe not. I would assume yes. Yeah, it seems like that's all this is. That's This is really interesting as an idea. Like, I like the concept. I think my least favorite part of it is that long corridor. Like, I don't think that's really necessary, and especially since you have to keep coming back to it a bunch. It feels a little like overkill. I mean, thankfully, there is a reference point that you can use in the form of this other ball here. But still, I kind of wish it was a little less awkward. Okay, so we have a bunch of things there. Now, is there any particular value in doing these in a certain order? Because I don't see it, if there is one. So I'm just going to assume we can just carry these through without any problem. Okay. Alright, so there we go. We got the yellow one, and now we can... I guess we can just do this, right? Because I, now I can just walk up with no problems. 
I'll also still wait for this one, but I'm glad that they give you a helmet at the end. I feel like that's kind of nice. Okay, now we go this way. That's really interesting. I like that. Okay, one second. I just got a message on Discord that I need to look at. Um, what is... Oh, okay. I'm going to check that out later. All right. Next up we have, I'm going to give that a three. I'm, I'm not exactly like hot on it for the getting it into the set, but like I liked what was there as far as the ideas were, were concerned. There were some ideas that were a little better than others, but overall there's a, there's a pretty good starting point for a great level. So I, I, I didn't mind that one. That, that was pretty decent. All right, Ice Block Speed Team. So is this like a sequel to the Ice Block Team level? It has a really high time limit, though. Okay, let's take a look at it. Oh! This is the speed part. Okay. So this is going to do... The, we're hitting a bunch of buttons. I'm not sure what that's actually accomplishing. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to get everything done prior to... Okay, I'm a little worried about the fact that we're carrying the skate. Is that okay? Like, is... Okay, I... Okay, it looks like we opened up the way for... Okay, so this is... I can't get out. Oh, wait! that I have to hold that down as the other Melinda here. Okay, hang on a sec. Okay, there we go. I think that's fine. Because these ones are one-time things, right? Where you do that. It sounds like that blows up something in the top area, I think. So there was a tank there. That opens up the bug to help with this whole issue here. Okay, I'm going to go here just so I'm not alarmed in case I fail. Yeah, I think... Can you get away with doing this without the, the skates? I think the answer is yes. Because I could totally just do... Yeah, this... Let's just go without the skates. There we go. Okay, so now we need to do this. Okay, I'm very confused as to what's going on here. Are these all, like, blocks we need to guide somewhere? Maybe back into that room? Is that it? Well, that was a bust. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish this stuff off here because I don't want to get tons more ice blocks cloned and then mess up the whole thing. I'm going to do the other Melinda uh, and what's going on there earlier, I think, just because I, I really don't want to... Okay, so it looks like we're bringing in other ice blocks, but I still don't see how that helps when you have that. So is it like... Yeah, I'm not sure how you do that. It is a clone machine, so it's not like it's going to spout off in another direction. But at the same time... Like, let's say it, it did clone, and it cloned to the left. That doesn't actually solve the issue, right? Because it's going to leave a block there, and then that means that there's this impassable barrier. 
am, am I missing something with that? Or, like, is there a, a flipper somewhere that I could use? Because I feel like that would be really important for something like this. Oh, Okay, let's go and get out of here. Eh. <laughs> I really like this idea of going through a maze really fast. It's very interesting. Okay. Uh, let's go and do this again. I'm still very curious on how this works. Yeah, that that's very interesting. I, I don't see how you can do that. Unless maybe if I get enough blocks it's gonna bounce back or something. Like like I don't know. There's there's so many movement ordering things here that feel like they would be an important part of the equation, and I'm not sure if I'm accounting for all the right ones. Oop, you know, here. I'm hoping the time on this level isn't too strict either. Hopefully not. Okay. Oh, whoops. I completely cloned one too many there. Alright, let's try this again. You know what this kind of reminds me of? It reminds me of that ice threat level from the, the original CC2. Okay, there we go. So if I go and do this... Is that... Okay, that's going to go somewhere. Does that loop all the way back? What? What? Where did that end up going? Was there like a water tile there that I didn't see? I'm gonna assume yes. That would make the most sense at this point. Yeah, because it didn't come back. Oh, I forgot that would happen. Yeah, it didn't come back, so... Yeah, there's a bomb there. Okay. Yeah, the speed at which that bug is doing all this makes me think that we, we're going to need to do this really quickly, whatever it is. Okay. There's also, like, a whole bunch of chips that we don't know where they are. Let's give it a shot. Okay. So I think I'm just going to do this because that's probably easier. Why did I do that? Yeah, this definitely feels a little strict, just based on how many blocks there are, especially that up the upper left section, because you have to push so many blocks. But maybe it's not as bad as I'm thinking. Okay, that should help, and then I'll send that along its merry way. Okay, good. All right, awesome. That's what I was hoping for. 
Did I just seriously survive that? How do you get past that? That is so weird. I mean... Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, no. No, because that that's the that's the button, right? That's the button right there. Oh wait, the trap. Of course, the trap. I'm I'm dumb. I'm officially dumb. Hang on. There. Okay. Got it. That's how you do it. Of course, you can clone I I didn't learn my lesson from omniscient mortality license. I you can totally clone blocks to go stack on each other while they're in front of the cloner. I had that completely the wrong type of thing. Okay. Whoop. Nope. Okay, so that should be it for that. This is... What? Whoa, what? What? What is this? Uh, okay. Okay, there's all the chips that we were looking for. Hi? Oh, wait, I was supposed to use that. This is very, very strange. Okay. Yeah. We were supposed to save that. Okay, there's still plenty of time. Which is good. Oh! Wow. <laughs> okay, at least we know what to do. That's the nice part. At least we know what to do now. You know, I kind of like this. This is pretty cool. Okay, let's go and go here. I really like that upper right section. It, it feels very strange and weird, and I like it. It's pretty cool. Especially that last room, like that's a... It's a very psychedelic feeling room, for lack of a better word. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Oh, I probably shouldn't have gone all the way down there. All right. Okay, let's go through here. So let's see, anything to talk about today? I guess I don't really have a whole lot. I'm just still making it through the, the quarantine period right now. It's been good, though. It's it's mostly been fairly... Oh, I keep switching when I don't mean to. It's been pretty fairly quiet. So I'm hoping that things will calm down here in the next few weeks. And hopefully the virus will will cease to be as much of a threat as it has been. The speed boots are such a liability there. I do, I will say, I kind of like this better than the original Ice Block team. Like, that level felt, I don't know, very kind of... Like, oh, you have to do this, and then you do this. It felt, it felt very sequential, very linear. Whereas this one... Okay, I wanted to drop. That's what I wanted to do. This one is a much more... I don't know, just... It feels like there's four little challenges that you have to do, and I, I like that idea. It's, it's really well done here. Okay, so we go there do that. I think you could actually open... No, wait. Am I thinking of something else? I was going to say, I think you might be able to get away with uh, pushing the block on top of the door, but I might be mixing this up with, a, with the directional blocks. <laughs> Why did I think that was safe? That was silly. Why did I do that? That was so bad. Okay. Get out of here. 
Yeah, this part definitely reminds me of that ice threat level, and oh my goodness, Melinda, come on. I don't know who made these, by the way. I'm, part of me wants to say Chipster, but I'm not sure if that's actually correct. Yeah, I'll just leave them there. I don't need them anymore. You know, come to think of it, I could avoid doing all this stuff, right? Although, wait a minute, which block has the suction boots underneath it? Because if it's the one there in the corner, then I definitely do need to do it. Alright. Cool. Got it. Alright. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Why? Really? I I get why there's speed boots there, but I'm beginning to think maybe I shouldn't hold on to those. Not if they're going to be that much of a liability. Okay, so we go over here, do that, get out of there. Okay. Do this part. Yeah, I'm going to watch where those suction boots are under, because I think they're under here. Oh, yep, they're there. Okay. Cool, cool. So we do need to do all that. Good to know. Okay. Go in here. Awesome. All right. I'm going to try actually pushing the blocks to the left this time, because that might be faster. Yeah, that's faster. All right. Be very careful. Okay, I'm going to go this way. I guess you get them stolen here, so you don't really need them. Okay, there we go. We'll come back for that in a minute. Okay, I'm pretty sure these are, yeah, there we go. Good. Oh, well, not quite yet. Wait, what did we miss? Uh, did we miss a chip here somewhere? Where's there a chip that we missed? Don't tell me it's under that block over there. I'm just going to look in the editor just to verify that. No? Wait, did we not get the chip that was on the fire originally? Or I'm just looking at all these things that have stuff here because we got all the ones in the blue wall area there's nothing here in the thief room did we really just miss all that just because of that one there yeah that one had a pop-up wall underneath it i forgot about that so yeah it wouldn't have been there that's interesting i'm going to try it again and just see if just see if we missed something that we totally forgot about I bet it's this, though. And it looks like this isn't quite that strict, so that's nice. So I'm going to just blaze through this as quickly as I can, hopefully without any problems. Fingers crossed. All right, let's do this. Yeah, because the vast majority of chips are in that blue wall area. Okay, made it here. Can go through here. See, I don't know what the uh, ice skates are for unless they're meant to be an obstacle in and of themselves. No! I didn't mean the keystroking! 
Okay, there we go. That felt a little smoother than it has been. Okay, I'm getting a little used to working with the speed boots, too. Oh, that's right. I can't do that. Okay, let's go here. Do all these. Go through that. Go through there. And all that. Okay. Okay, so far so good. This is this is pretty good. We're making it. We're making it. We're doing stuff. We're being productive. It's all good in the hood. Yeah, I don't think I got that ship. I think that was the issue. Because I'm so excited to try this out. Okay, so now we just have this. Okay, I just want to make sure I didn't crash into that. Okay, there we are. Wait, don't tell me. Okay, good. <laughs> How many were left? Oh, wow. Okay, we do have a lot of time. Not so bad. I'm going to give it... Hmm. I'm going to give it a two, just because I feel like it could have been better developed, but I liked what was there. I just think that it needs some polish, but I like a lot of what was in it. Maybe this level could have combined a little bit of the sequential ordering between the characters that the last level had, but with not quite as much of it in this one, maybe have a little bit more, kind of like what they had with the trap button, but maybe have the uh, the Melinda going through the maze doing different things for the other characters instead of just pressing each button once. I think that could have been kind of cool. But as such, some cool ideas. Okay, the dying seconds. Okay, we only have 10 seconds. There's a time bonus after every obstacle. Okay, good to know. Okay, wait, we need four. Five, four. Okay, so we're just get we're just going through all these as best we can. Okay, let's try to get our bearings here. Okay, I'm trying to see how fast I can get through all that. But it looks like this walker is going to block our path quite a bit. Okay, this seems like a bit of an equalizer. I'm going to go for that bonus. Okay, so this is going to have to come down here. Okay, good. And we have an item swapper... You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of those arcade games where you have all the checkpoints. Make the walkers go onto the buttons. Okay. Okay, that was pretty simple. Uh, now this one, I'm not sure how we're going to get this to... Oh wait, we can do this. We can make it go here. Okay, now you need to go... Come on. There we go. Excellent. Okay, we have a maze. I think that's a dead end based on the fact there's a bonus there. Okay. We can go here. Oh, there's an opening there. I, I completely missed that. I didn't realize that you can go right there. I, I didn't see the gravel. Whoops. Sorry about that. Okay, there we go. Okay, now that we know a little bit more about this first section, I think this will be a little smoother. Yeah, th this is going to go by a little more quickly. And thankfully, not quite as tight in terms of the time limit. So I'm going to go for that. All right, Walker, let's do our, our stuff here.
No. Okay, good. Okay. Excellent. Let's go through here. Is there a way into that? Can I even get to that? Yeah, there we go. I wonder how you get to... Oh, there you go. You go through there. Okay, so we got all the bonuses there. Now, as far as this is concerned, what happens if I go right? Go when the centipede is here. Okay, I see. The end is near! Alright. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna go for all those. No! I forgot I'm not safe there! Whoops. I forgot you're not safe in the water where monsters drown. Oh my goodness. That was a very rookie mistake. Alright, well that's fine. I like this level. It, it is pretty fun. Kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, a level I made called Shamazel, which was in CCLP4. Um, if you haven't watched that Let's Play yet, definitely check it out. That was... A level I wasn't really terribly proud of, I just submitted it for like, I think it was a create competition. And um, a lot of people ended up liking it for some reason. It was one of those levels I was, I was very surprised at the reception it got. It felt like it wasn't, it wasn't the type of level that normally would be popular, but for some reason it was. Because I wasn't really expecting like a speed oriented level to be all that beloved by many people, I guess. But I'm glad it, a lot of people liked it. It's one that I had fun designing. Alright, so we go through here. I'm going to wait just to be sure that that's... Okay. Wait for you. Excellent. Okay, so now I can get these. Woo! Okay, just wait for all of them. There we go. Now I can get all of this stuff. And now we can go here. Yeah, I was kind of almost anticipating a Zelgon's Lair kind of viewer too greedy thing at the end. That's pretty fun. I'm going to give that a three. It wasn't anything particularly, like, super innovative, but I do like the idea of, like, collecting the clocks as you get past stuff. I think that's kind of cool. There was some good stuff there. I liked it. Oh, this level. Snowball. Yeah, so this is a level that's based on one set of rooms from Pi Guys Avalanche 2. I remember seeing this, and it's a, it's a thing. It's definitely a thing. Um, yeah, I, I don't even remember how to solve this. The core conceit of this is that you have to get all the blocks in here before you can hit that tank button, pretty much. And I just I have solved it before, but I don't at all remember how. And I'm going to have to remember how if I'm going to solve it now. Which, I'm not sure I will. In fact, I think I just cooked it. I'm going to start over again. I think you have to actually leave this block there. Do that. And then do, like, this maybe. Yeah, you have to do something like that in order to get... Man, I forgot how to do this. <laughs> it's a very well done sardine can puzzle, though. I will say that. And I like how this opening section kind of challenges you to do a few different kinds of things with the blocks. It's very interesting. Definitely interesting. Um... Now, I can't remember. Do you do that first, or do you do... I kind of wish the time limit wasn't just 314. I, I get the reference, but I kind of wish there, it wasn't that. I wish there was a little more to it. I need to break this up a, a little bit more. And unfortunately, the time limit is a little concerning. I'm going to put you up there, and then I'm going to do... I'm going to do what I did earlier. I'm going to do this again. And... Why don't we do this? I'm going to push you down here. Let's go here. 
I'm going to do that. Did I even accomplish anything by doing any of that? I don't think I did. Well, I definitely cooked the level. You know what? I'm going to watch a solution to this because I don't really feel like solving it right now, to be honest. But I, I do like it. I do like it. Um, and I definitely remember solving it before. But it, it's a bit of a process because you have to kind of separate the ice blocks from each other, which is really interesting. Oh, that's right. You could do that. Duh. Okay. Yeah, so once you do that, you're kind of a little bit more free to separate things so that they're not all clumped together like that. But then you have to do that. Yeah, you have to do that crazy kind of rearrangement in the opening room. Because if I remember correctly, you have to clump up some of the ice blocks in the opening room. It, it's very fascinating. It, and I think there's even a little bit of figuring out how to clump up some of the blocks in this area too, if I remember correctly. But I have to say, like if a part of one of Pi Guy's levels was to be translated into a, a CC2 level, I'm glad it's this room because I feel like this was, from my recollection of it, a really interesting puzzle. And so far, that's certainly turning out to be the case here. So yeah, you have to... Okay, so you have to do that. So I'm trying to remember, do you put the dirt blocks on the bottom or somewhere else? Actually, I can see the ice blocks all going in a square right there. I'm not sure if that's the actual solution or not, but... I can see that being potentially the case. So I think you can fit the, the the dirt blocks. Wait, can you? Because you would have to like push them like this, where you're, you gradually get them into the room. Yeah, if I had one complaint about this, it's that I would hope that the level gets a time limit increase. And that's pretty easy to do, so I'll, I'll vote for it with the assumption that that can happen. Because this level is one that I feel like could benefit from that. Especially with all these exchanges that you have to do between the rooms. So, do you put a block down all the way down there or not? That's what I'm struggling with here. Because part of the puzzle here is not only rearranging the blocks, but envisioning what the final state of the room is going to be. Which is kind of where you have to start. <laughs> is the replay recorder going to be able to solve it? I'm I'm curious. Okay, so dirt block does go there. And apparently there, maybe temporarily. Uh what was the deal there? I feel like a dirt block should go up there. Like, that would make the most sense. Up in the the little turnaround. Because if you could put that there, then that means that you can slide all the ice blocks into that area one at a time, which seems to be the case. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's definitely the case. Okay, yeah, that totally works. So it's basically just a matter of getting the the blocks in and out so you can get those dirt blocks in. Which I really like that concept. Yeah, the time limit for this is definitely strict. 
but if we can um, if we can raise that time limit, I will gladly give this a uh, I'll gladly give this a five. I think this is a very well done puzzle. Like this is a sardine can puzzle to rival some of the best sardine can puzzles out there. All right, next up, let's go on to level twenty one. Let's see what we have here. Winter. Next up is Monkey in the Middle. So. Oh. Oh, I see. So we have to. Pr okay. <laughs> Interesting. Kind of reminds me of that level. It was from like Ultimate Ship Six, and it involved like a teeth thing. And oh, whoops! I forgot that you. That's right. I forgot that you can't exit unless you get the chips on both ends. Whoop 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 whoop. I'm also glad that you can actually see. where the teeth is at any given point. Like, it's not really a mystery or anything. There we go. I like that idea, but I feel like that's a very, like, test concept version of it, where it could have more done with it, much like the, the Ultimate Ship 6 level. Uh, I'm going to give it a 2. Interesting concept, but not really something that I, I really want to see in the final set, at, in this state at least. All right, lesson nine. Were there nine lessons in CC2? I feel like there were. This is the magic eye. It allows you to see what's underneath blocks. Okay. This seems impossible, doesn't it? Well, it's actually not. With a trick called block slapping, it's easy. But we're not going to tell you how to do that. All right, so here we slap this block. Oh, here we go. In order to block slap, you need to walk beside a block while holding another direction to be in the direction you want to slap the block. Okay, thanks for explaining that. Okay, there we go. You can slap more than just dirt blocks. You can slap ice and directional blocks. Okay. You need three tiles of space with the block in the middle to be able to slap, so these blocks can't be slapped. If chip can't enter the tile the block is on, slapping is impossible. So in other words, this here. Know that slap, slapping off the red lock is possible because the red key you picked up earlier. Ah, gotcha. So I take it I can open that. You also can't slap if the block can't move onto the tile normally, so this dirt block can't be slapped. But this one can. All right, now we're Melinda. Melinda can't step on dirt or gravel, and as such can't slap off it either. Uh, I guess I need to get rid of this then. Okay, what do we have here? With ice and directional blocks, you can actually slap rows of them at a time. I take it that there's no harm in doing that. Now, th they don't say anything about this, but you can slap even though there isn't the three tiles of space here for the edge. Uh, stuff which only applies to um, horizontal traveling while slapping. Interestingly enough, slapping isn't just limited to blocks. You can also slap blue walls while walking too quickly. Find fake and real ones. Give it a try. Okay, so I take it that's our way forward. It is getting windy outside. You can also accidentally slap a monster, so be very careful about holding two direction keys at the same time around them. Okay, nothing there. You can even slap foil onto walls when walking. Use it here to quickly apply... I'm trying to see where that connects. I'm worried that that's going to connect to a trap. <laughs> a teeth is going to get uh, released there, so I'm not going to go for that. Oh, I... Accidentally inactivated the window. Well, you did it. You are now a block slapping master, and you're now ready to face the rest of the levels in this challenge. All right. 
was a nice tutorial. Um, I like how it's, how it explained the different mechanics. I will say that the the aesthetics of it though were very lacking. Like I know that the original TC2 didn't exactly have the best of aesthetics either, but I feel like in this case, like whereas CC2 had very rectangular rooms that felt appropriate for a lesson level, this just kind of had a very haphazard looking layout. And that was kind of a bit of a bummer because I liked a lot of the things in it. I'm gonna give it a two as well. All right, so next up we have the wrong direction. Okay, so I need to get these blocks onto somewhere. Um, this is going to be really interesting. I don't... Huh? If I push any one of these, isn't that, like, automatically bad? Well, not necessarily, actually. Let, let's try this. I can do this. Right, I can do that. I can do this. Okay, yeah, I, I got this. Okay, that's a cool opening puzzle. I like that. There's four rooms to go through here. Uh, so they all seem to involve directional blocks. Let's do this one first. Um, so I can't, well, I can push this right, but I don't know if that's correct. So I'm going to go... Oh, wait a minute. How do you get through this? Uh, oh, I see. There's another block here that you would then push. And then you can push these left ones. So I think the objective here is I'm trying to get the, the, um, the block over here into the water. Um, and as such, I'm going to need to clear a bunch of squares out here to do that. So let's work on that for now. And so that can go there. And then this can go here. Okay, so that, that's pretty easy. That's a nice little puzzle. I like that. Okay, so now let's take a look at what's over here. Actually, let's go down here. Uh, so I'm not going to forget. You can do this. Um, now, do I want to do this? Like, how far do we go with this is my question. Okay, so this can now go here. I'm going to have to be very careful, because if I'm not careful, yeah, I, I don't want to get anything stuck there. So I think what you have to do here is you have to get stuff out in such a way, because I'm noticing that these are... Um, these are red clone machine buttons, so you can't actually do... Yeah, let's do that. And then let's do this. Because if I can do that, then I can at least start building the path necessary to get this to work. Okay, good. That's a very clever puzzle. That kind of reminds me a little bit. In fact, the whole layout of this level reminds me a little bit of Blocks Aren't Us from uh, Ultimate Ship 6. Okay, so I don't want to push that there. What does this say? Apparently nothing. Okay. So what's the deal with this? Is this just facing the blocks in the right order? Okay, so... It seems like now the blocks are going to die off if I put them. What? I'm just looking at what, what's here and I'm just like, are you trying to get these to all? I, I take it you're supposed to get all of these things to deactivate something oh the force floors oh that makes so much sense okay so i need to get all six of these so what's this one then is that just for me 
I take it that's for me. Like I stand on it and then they all deactivate the force fours all at once. So that would make sense. I just need to figure out which blocks go where. That's going to be the, the main key, I think, to all this. So I think what I'm going to do, if I push this right, I think I should be fine. And then that one can go up. This goes down. This one will go up. That goes up. But then this, there are six here, right? Okay, so if I do that. Because I can move this one back and forth, which is the good news. I can do that at least. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to position you on this one, and then this one, and then that one. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so now we're all set to take this on a little trip. Oh. Uh, was that not supposed to... Oh, you're supposed to put them such that they can't be pushed the other way, right? Although, wait a minute. How is that even possible? Because on these ones, there's only one that's not facing. That can't be right, right? Like, because you, you don't want to do anything that can go left, but this is the only one that can't go left. So how do you swing that? There's something wrong here. I, I feel like we definitely messed it up. But I think we have the right idea, though. That That's the thing. Like, I think we have the right idea. So these two can go up here, right? That Those two go up there. Um, and then these two go on the bottom. But, like, this one here... The, or, no... Sorry, this one, this one with all four directions is a bit of an issue. I'm going to start the level over again because I'm pretty sure we've screwed it, but I am so curious how this works. Like, how do you, how do you resolve that? That's going to be really interesting. I feel like that's the hardest puzzle in the whole thing. So I'm going to try to give it uh, some attention here. So let's go ahead and work on that. Wait. Did I? Oh wait, that is, that's the block that goes through the thing and onto the, okay. Okay, um, let's take stock of all these. So these two should go here. This and this should go at the very bottom. And then these two should go on the top. I think that's, that's the, that's the key. So I just need to be very careful about getting these to where they need to go. Yeah, I, I just need to be very, very careful about that. So um, as long as I'm not terribly reckless about this, I think I should be okay. So why don't we do this? I'm going to do this one here. Let's put it up here first. And the next one that needs to go up there is going to be, where are you? This one. Th that one's the next one. Okay. So at this point, I can just put that there. Like, that's, that's not going to be a problem. I just need to figure out a way to get these on here without messing anything up too much. That's... That's going to be the main thing. But I think we can do this. I, I don't think this is... Yeah, we can just do it like this. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. Okay, so now we just switch the Force 4s. That's a very cool puzzle. I, I like the way that works. Alright, so we got that. Uh, let's do the one down here next, because this one felt pretty... Uh, constrained in a lot of ways. Okay. Uh, 
uh, I need to figure out a way to... I know I had a way to do this before, and I forgot it now. Let's do that. Oh, whoops. Oh, don't tell me I messed this up. How did I do this part before? I knew I... I know I did something here. Was it like this? And I came around... Yeah, that's not going to work out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that room is kind of a little touchy. But thankfully, it's pretty, pretty doable. Yeah, I'll come back to that one. That, that one's pretty easy. But this one, I'm going to do first. Okay, so as long as I position these accordingly, we shouldn't have any problems, right? We should be able to just do this, like that, and I think that should be good. Okay, so I just need two more now. There we go. Yeah, this isn't actually that bad as long as you keep track of what's going where. Okay, so let's do this one next. Yeah, this puzzle I really like. It's very interesting. Okay, so how do we do this before? Try to remember. We, I remember getting the ones over there to that side. So that goes on the top, right? The, this one over here. Yeah, I remember something like that. And then this one went down here alongside this other one that's on top. Okay. Uh, we may have an issue here, because I just realized I have this here. But I think we can manage this. Let's try to get... This here. Yeah, there we go. That, that should do it. Okay, got it. Yeah, I like the way that's set up. That's such a clever setup for a puzzle. Alright, I'm going to do the, the unknown room that we haven't been to yet next because that that's still an unknown quantity and I want to try to to solve it. Okay, so this is going to be a kind of a shuffly one and there's even some useless blocks here in the corner, which is kind of interesting. So I take it I have to do this first and then maybe something like that to get this up here. And now I got to figure out how to get everything here next. I'm just going to try experimenting with a couple of things, but I don't know if these are going to work. Let's see. So that's probably not right. The thing I'm worried about is I don't want to clump two blocks together and then that end up being... A major issue. But I think if I do it for down there, it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. There we go. So this area here, now this is interesting. Um, I'm just getting it up there just so I can kind of visualize a little better. Um, now if I push to the right here, the problem is if I push down the corner, I feel like I'm kind of doing the whole level in here. But I almost need to get this over to the point where I can get stuff there, right? Like, isn't that how that would work?
Hmm. I'm just looking at the number of blocks you would need here, and I... I... Okay, I, I definitely need to do that, right? Like, that's kind of a given. Alright, first things first, I'm going to do this, just so I can get it into this position. There we go. I feel like I could push this all the way to the left and there wouldn't be an issue, but I'm not sure if that's right. So if I did... Oh, wait a minute. I could just do this. There we go. That was a really cool room. I like that one as well. Alright, so now we have this one, which I, I thought this one was pretty easy. Um, let's do that. Let's get all these in here. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, this room is fairly simple as well. You just have to get all these set up here like that, and then should be good to go. Yeah, this one's by far the easiest one. Yeah, that was a very solid level. That's that's a five for sure. All right, we have a couple more left. We have Frigid is the next one. Okay, so we have a little Sokoban here, which is, that's not the way to solve it. Um, okay, so that allows us to do that. And now we can just get all these blocks the exit. Uh, the question is how to get the blocks the exit. Thankfully, that's not too difficult, I don't think. There we go. Yeah, I feel like this might have benefited from being more of a time crunch level. But I like what was there. I'll give it a three at least. Like, I'm, I'm kind of ambivalent about it being in the final set, but it, it's decent. All right. Uh, time enough at last. Oh. Okay, so we need to not... Okay. Let's uh, be very careful about that bug. Okay, so you're going to hug the left wall, which means going here. All right, so we need to not touch one of the timers. Okay, this kind of reminds me a bit of Vortex. Okay. Now, what's going on here? We have... We have a joyride kind of thing. Oh man, this looks really scary. All right, let's hope for the best. Cross our fingers here. Ah! I did not step off in time there. No problem, though. We can just try again. So I'm wondering if there's, like, more time clocks you can get here, because I can't imagine getting the bonus at the start without that. Okay. Okay, there we go. And we have a monster uh, lockstep kind of thing. I call it lockstep because I think that was a name of a level that used this concept. Okay, I don't see any actual clocks or anything. That's interesting. I wonder what, how you would get that bonus. Hmm. That's not that big of a deal. I'm going to give this level a 1. I'm not really a big fan of it. I think it's... It felt like someone was feeling very clever about putting, you know, the stopwatch things as obstacles, and not particularly a... I don't know. Not particularly anything interesting here. All the concepts were things we've seen before. It kind of reminded me of that key mania level from the very beginning of CC2, where you were trying to avoid certain keys and whatnot. But yeah, I wasn't really a big fan of this one, so I'm going to give this one a 1. All right, next time we're going to continue on with Slip Up. So until then, I will catch you next time. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you on the flip side. So take care, and I will see you then.